you know, I've always found it so interesting ever since I started these videos, how upset people get when I call alcohol use disorder a mental health illness, like it's some kind of conspiracy theory. You know, this, I'm not arguing with people. This is not like a, the flat earth versus round earth. This is based in, uh, not theory, but it's in, based in scientific and medical research. Uh, I'm going to delve a little bit deeper into this, so stick around. You know, I understand why people get triggered. I get it. I mean, it, it's like releasing the alcoholic for their own culpability and for their own actions and for all the, the misdeeds that they do with alcoholism. But they're missing the point entirely. And if somebody gets triggered by naming it a mental health disease, well, that's actually a good thing. <clears throat> it means you haven't had the experience or, you know, you're still ignorant of what's going on. And, and that's fine. That's actually a good thing. I'm glad you have it. And you can stay triggered and you can stay reactionary. That's fine. But if, you're, if you have a family member who's dealing with this addiction, you need to be better educated on what's going on with this. That way you can approach it correctly and you can help the alcoholic in your family. Or if you're struggling with it yourself, you can understand what's going on with your own brain, if nothing else. So alcoholism, alcohol use disorder, has actually been characterized as a mental health illness since 1956 by the American Medical Association, the AMA. And they actually characterize it by compulsive decision-making, impulse behavior, and relapse. Now, th what makes it into a mental health disease, and these are the criteria, is that it's biological in nature. Illness exists in and of itself. It does not go away, and it does not heal on its own. It, exib it exhibits observable signs or symptoms like intoxication, slurred speech, stumbling, mind fog, passing out, blacking out, all these kinds of things. It's also a progressive disease. It can get worse or fatal if untreated. Uh, it also has a predictable timeline of development, relapse, and recovery. These are things that make it into a mental health disease. Also in 1980, the American Psychiatric Association identified AUD, alcohol use disorder, or substance abuse disorder, as a mental health issue. The primary mental health issue is addiction is a primary chronic disease of brain, reward, motivation, memory, related circuitry, dysfunction in these circuits, which leads to characteristic biological, psychological, social, and spiritual manifestations. How's that for a mouthful? And on top of that, the president of the American Society of Addiction Medicine, you know, the people that dedicate their lives to this kind of stuff, he said that addiction isn't just a social problem, a moral problem, or a criminal problem. It's a brain problem whose behavior manifests in all these areas. I guess your reactionary emotions are valid. So really the point of this video is really to be educated on what's going on with a person's brain, either a loved one in your family or if you're struggling with it yourself. It's important to be educated so that you have a way to understand and approach this mental health disease. And again, links are in the bio. If you want to set up a breakthrough call, I've helped thousands of alcoholics and most importantly, I've helped their family, which I believe is crucial to the sustainable sobriety for family members or for alcoholics and alcohol use disorder. And again, thanks for listening.